my friend, how's it going? Welcome back to the Secret Slob channel and our 21 day spring declutter challenge. I'm Steph and I have three little kids and so if your life is anything like mine, there's a good chance that your house has either been or is currently completely overwhelmed with toys. I'm gonna blame my mother for giving my kids these things, but let's be honest, it's probably just my fault for letting it all get out of control. My kids do help clean up their toys, they try their best, but it just feels like the influx of toys is constant and never ending. On the bright side, I have been told this ends at some point to just cherish the days, but it is really hard to cherish a day where your feet are constantly being mangled by Lego pieces. So today I'm going to do my best to get some of these toys under control, uh, get rid of some of the stuff that my kids are not playing with, and then just have some semblance of organization. Rule number one in my decluttering challenge is to not declutter other people's things. So I'm kind of breaking the rule today a little bit. These are my kids toys they technically belong to them so I'm not going to be like purging major amounts of their stuff they're playing with I'm just gonna kind of go through and get rid of garbage old fast food toys stuff that's broken I might box up some stuff and put it downstairs to bring into our toy rotation sometimes stuff comes up and stays up and then also getting rid of some baby stuff that my son has definitely outgrown and he won't notice so in terms of decluttering your kids stuff without them I think this is very personal if there's a very fine line of when your kids are young enough that you can just throw their stuff away and it's fine and they get old and they start getting attached to things. So if you think you're on that border, just really please be considerate of them and their things and, and maybe just ask them, hey, are you still playing with this or do you care about this? Or they might be um, easier to get involved than you think. My daughter has helped me purge stuff before and she's awesome, she loves it. Sometimes she even tries to throw away things. I'm like, no, don't throw that away. Anyways, I've gotten on a tangent. So I'm gonna mostly just clean this up pull some stuff into storage, get rid of broken stuff, stuff they don't like, stuff they don't need, and then baby stuff. And then hopefully just have a space here that we can work with a little easier. The other big toy in our house is art supplies. And again, I'm just gonna go through their art supplies, get it all organized. I have to do this at least once a month because the markers and the crayons and everything gets mixed up and it's just hard to use and hard to play with. And I get rid of all the stuff that's old and broken and dried up. And that's kind of how we keep it organized. My kids could probably get a little more involved than they do, but we're working on it. They're not here today, so it's a perfect day to get this stuff cleaned up. So this is our toy space. Right now it's just random boxes. So how are they supposed to play with this when nothing is even, what's in here? I don't know. So the blocks are a perfect example of something that I honestly want to get rid of. My kids barely play with them. They only play with them when I, ask them to play with me with them and I'm like not a huge fan of playing with blocks but what they mostly do is just take this bin a box and dump it out so there's a really big part of me that wants to throw these away I know it's like really good cognitively for them to play with blocks but cognitively I feel like they're just throwing them on the floor maybe we'll put them in the rotation bring them out later they do like these though and they play with them a lot these are these like magnet squares so we'll keep them Blocks are contained, the magnet tiles are contained, and now it's just a lot of like random little cars and random little people things and balls and all this stuff. And so my kids have all these toys, like they have all these brain toys that are supposed to like stimulate their brains. But what I'm finding is when they have less stuff, their brains are probably more stimulated because they actually have to be creative and make up their own thing. I don't know anything about childhood development, but I do know that when my kids have just tons of messy toys everywhere, they do not play nearly as creatively or for as long than if they have just a few things they can pick from. So it feels bad throwing things away and get rid of toys, but I do know it's better for them, or I'm pretty sure at least. Let me know if you know more about this.
Okay, so I'm gonna group the little toys and the little people, and then I'm gonna try and call some of them. All right, so I've got everything basically sorted. We have our little bin of guys. If you have kids, you know what I mean. This is our bin of trucks and vehicles. We didn't ever have these, but as soon as we had a boy, people were like, you need trucks. So we've had a lot of trucks come in in addition to like big things like this. And I mean, it's like very appreciated, but there's no way one child can play with all of these. So definitely some of these can go to the thrift store or at least away. Some of them can probably go outside. And then we'll just keep the really good ones that I know he's using a lot. This one never stops singing, so it can go. We just have two of these. It's the exact same thing. I confess, I'm kind of part of the problem because I'm obsessed with vintage toys like this, which is so old, it's from 1971. So it's like 50 years old. This is from 1972, I think. Be part of the solution, Stephanie. Okay, these are all like our vintage Fisher Price toys, which at the very least, I wanna keep them together. But they do get played with a lot. I reached a bit of a standstill. I'm having feelings of guilt crash over me about getting rid of things, and I'm really stuck between, yeah, having my kids have a more fulfilling childhood through creative play and not having as much stuff, and then having everything they want and me, you know, fulfilling every whim and desire. Oh, this is so hard. Like every little thing, I'm like, ooh, this McDonald's toy, but they play with it. So it's junk, but they love it. So we keep it, but then we can't keep everything. I, I actually kind of really like this. Maybe I should just keep this one. Well, I'm gonna keep this dollhouse. My dad made it for them. And then we got these really awesome little um, wooden furniture that he made and they actually play with this all the time. So I'm gonna keep this and just kind of keep it out. My bin of trucks has drastically decreased. I put a couple more in there like this one and this one, which I know are big hits. And then I have these little guys, little trucks. So these are like medium-sized trucks, giant trucks, and then little trucks. Less is more, less is more. Okay, these little guys can stay out. These can stay here. Not perfect, but I'm making progress and I'm feeling better about it, but I, I'm gonna have to come through this stuff one more time, I think, and make some seriously hard choices. Okay, and then our bin of little guys. I mean, it's not that much stuff, so I'm gonna put it in this basket. Go, little bin of things. Everything that's not in these shelves, I'm gonna pack up. The big trucks, uh, I'll keep those out, but everything else I'm gonna pack up and either donate or put away. I can't believe this is where I'm getting stuck. Toys, of all things, like, this is this has been uh, this is the hardest for me to declutter because maybe it is because it's their stuff or because I just have so many good memories of them playing with things, but this is not easy. So this is what I'm left with. And then I did put some stuff downstairs for toy rotation. This is a bag of stuff to go to the thrift store for someone else to enjoy. All really good in good shape toys, just we have too much stuff. A very small bag of garbage, so just broken things and actual garbage. And then I did find a little bit of art supplies kind of mixed in, so I'm gonna head over there and clean out some of their art stuff and yeah, just tidy it up so it's nice and easy to use. Oh, one more thing I'm gonna get rid of. This guy. This guy has not been touched in so long. I already decluttered it once and then my children drug it out of the garage, brought it back in here, and they still don't play with it. So last chance, it's gone. Ugh. I swear, nothing makes a toy more interesting to play with than throwing it away. Suddenly, it's the most fabulous toy we can't imagine living without. Anyways, let's move on, art stuff. So, this is where we keep their art stuff, and it generally stays under control. I also have this random bin of stuff that I've collected all over the house, so I'm just gonna quickly go through things. We're mostly at the place where we're just drawing on paper. Uh, so, a lot of coloring books we don't need to keep. I'll just uh, send them to my husband's office because he likes to have coloring books there for the kids that come with their parents. And yeah, just get rid of some of this stuff, clear it out, make it nice and fun to play with.
much better. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff, put it away, like put this stuff with our school stuff and and then a bunch of this can go to the thrift store and then I'm pretty much done. So yeah, this was easier. I mean, art stuff I have to constantly go through and that's just part of it. Um, that's okay, I, I keep on top of it pretty well but it tends to get mixed up quickly. Um, but at least we're staying on top of it so it's not making a huge mess. That feels so much better. I left this one so late because I really just didn't want to face throwing toys away. It always makes me feel so guilty. But now that it's done, I feel so much better. All right, so that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and following along as I decluttered my kids' stuff. It's never easy. I hope you got after this stuff or maybe you got your kids involved even better. Let me know how you did and don't forget every day of this challenge, I'm giving away a $100 gift card to a local store in your area. You're gonna tell me the store, we're gonna support local business. Maybe you could choose a toy store and give back to the community. So all you have to do to win is subscribe to the channel down here and leave me a comment and then I'll pick somebody tonight. Okay, I will see you in the next video. We are almost done.